The Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati, has come up with a new innovation a portable sensor to find out glycemic index in food. Now, that means it is going to find out the amount of carbohydrates that the food contains, which in turn increases the glucose level. And therefore, it is a very important component when it comes to management of diet for diabetic patients. And therefore, this is going to be, as per the researchers, a uh, game changer when it comes to diabetic care in the country remember there are more than 100 million diabetic patients in the country and knowing the glycemic index value of the food that the patient is taking uh, is a very important component in fact this sensor which is uh, developed in uh, the country uh, it has a prototype its patent has been done and researchers feel that soon it is going to hit the market and if it hits the market it will be a portable device which anybody can carry anywhere and can actually test the glycemic index of the, of the food they are taking uh, right at the source uh, within a span of 5 minutes. In fact, we did speak to the research team at IIT Guwahati and they have given us this explainer about the new innovation that they feel is a game changer when it comes to diabetic care in the country. So, myself is Professor Dipankar Vandupadhyay. I am a professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering and I am also very much closely associated with uh, Center for Nanotechnology, IIT Guwahati and presently I am the head of Jyoti and Bhupat Mehta School of Health Sciences and Technology. Diabetes is one of the major, uh, major, major non-communicable diseases uh, that has been, uh, that has been under the scanner right now in India because uh, I mean, our population uh, is consuming high glycemic foods and then that is leading to different types of diabetic complications and one of the major, uh, major uh, treatments of diagnostics is that uh, diabetes is the disease management, okay. So disease management means you are going to do the diabetes management and for diabetes management it is very, very important to uh, really uh, look into the glycemic index of the food. So, um, the, the present generation is consuming different types of uh, different types of fast foods which are typically high glycemic in nature, the foods with high glycemic index indices and then you know those, uh, uh, those foods are leading to rapid increase in the starch level uh, inside the blood. And that is what is the major reason for the diabetes management. In terms of di diabetes management, that becomes a very big roadblock because if there is rapidly digesting starch inside our diet, you know, that leads to rapid increase in glucose and that rapid increase in glucose leads to, you know, very uh, malmanagement of our diabetic health. So overall, one need to have a kind of device where at the source level, when we are consuming the food at the source level, we should have the idea that whether the food is a rapidly digest, whether the food source is having rapidly digesting starches, whether the food source is having slowly digesting starches or whether the food source is having the resistant starches, right? The level of food intake, it is very, very important that we classify these foods. And uh, the present invention is, say, suppose if somebody is taking a chips, if somebody is taking a biscuit, if somebody is taking rice sources, if somebody is taking breads, you will be able to really differentiate between them that whether the food contains more rapidly digesting starch, more slowly digesting starch or more resistant starch. I am Prathuraja Parmar from the Department of Chemical Engineering, IIT Guwahati. I am working under supervision of Professor Deepankar Vandupadhyay. Uh, as we know that the food have a direct correlation with the health what we eat. So we have developed a glycemic index sensor uh, in order to prevent the diabetes or manage the diabetes. For the glycemic index sensor we have used the alpha amylase enzyme that is used to synthesize the gold nanoparticle of different enzymatic activity and sizes from which the superior one we have chosen in order to develop a sensor which has the highest enzymatic activity as compared to free alpha amylase. So uh, this is about the synthesized AUNP alpha 1 is nanocomposer solution. So we have to take this solution and mix with the real sample either with a starch or a real sample. So we have taken a starch solution into which uh, we will mix our synthesized nanocomposite. So that synthesized nanocomposite will be mixed with the starch and 
during after mixing what happens the alpha amylase enzyme it degrades the starch it degrades the starch and maltose is produced so we will allow this reaction to take place and after 5 minutes of the reaction we will take uh, we will take the uh, mixture of the solution which has the maltose after completing the reaction and we will mix with the potassium hexacyanoferrate third and and we will do the chrono ampromatry by using the potentiostat and we will detect the concentration of maltose when the potassium hexacyanoferrate third will convert it into the second. So the technology is, has been developed into a kind of, it's a research prototype right now. So we, we want to translate, we have already published and patent and we want to translate this particular research uh, output into a kind of product. So what is the final goal? The final goal is to convert into a kind of uh, a point of care testing device where at the level of food source if somebody is uh, dispensing a drop of uh, food source of a particular concentration this particular device will be able to identify the glycemic index of the food which will directly go to uh, 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 wirelessly directly go to the mobile phone and from there it will be able to really tell whether the food is in the red zone for a diabetic patient whether it is, it, is, it is in the yellow zone or whether it is in the green zone. So people will be able to decide whether the food is good for diabetic management or bad for diabetic management at the source.